I'm going to show you how to create um, an HTML5 app uh, using Geometry Expressions 3. Uh, the app I'm going to create is simply one which computes the area of a triangle uh, from its side lengths. First of all, we need to draw a triangle. There it is. I'm going to constrain its side lengths. So I'm going to specify this length is A. I'm going to specify this length is B. And I'm going to specify this length is C. And I'm going to compute the area in geometry expressions. Here we, we have it. And let's just view the name of that. Uh, we can see it's called Z0. Uh, okay, to, to create uh, an app which reflects this model, we just go to File, Export, HTML5 JavaScript App. And we're presented um, with this dialog, which is a number of fields to fill in. First field is um, just the location, the folder that we're going to um, uh, put it in. Uh, second field is the applet name. This is the name of the HTML file, so I'll call that area. Uh, auto scale that specifies whether um, the drawing will automatically scale when the user enters uh, new values of the parameters, or whether it will just stay with the same view. Uh, we will automatically scale this. Uh, width and height, that's just the size in pixels on the screen. Um, web page title, this is the title that's going to actually appear on the web page. Uh, so we'll call it Triangle Area. Uh, header text is some text that we can put um, above the app in our HTML page. Uh, let's see. Change the side lengths. To change, to recompute, let's say, the area. We can also add some text after the app. So let's see. say that. Now we have inputs A, B and C. We can choose for each of them whether we actually want to show them in the app or just leave them hidden. In fact all of these we want to show and we get to put a label in. Let's um, label these a little more uh, descriptively. Um, A is actually BC so we'll just put BC there. B is AC. C is AB. Now, it turns out we're not going to see the um, dimension symbols, the constraints, um, in our in our app. Uh, Z naught, that's the area uh, we want to show it in the export. Uh, our label we would like to be something more descriptive. Uh, we'll just say area. Okay, that's it. Um, we now just press the OK button and we will get our app. You know, if I go and look in my uh, directory. Um, our app was called Area, and there it is. If I go in and uh, change the values, 8, I can see that the triangle updates, and um, I can see that my area updates here. If I wanted to get an integer area, um, I could do a 6, 8, 10 triangle. That's a right angle, and so sure enough, the uh, area is going to be the product of the short sides divided by 2.